how to train out command in protection. And there are many ways how people do that. Uh, oftentimes it's through the e-collar. Um, but to me, I think it should be between the helper and the dog. And uh, because uh, I need to, I need for my dog to understand the concept of what I want the dog to do, I introduce it at home, I do it myself, and then uh, I reinforce it on the field with the helper. And so when I give the command for the dog to out, I want the helper to, uh, to reinforce that. Uh, not me because I'm far away and I don't want my dog to fail uh, performing the out command on the long bite exercise in the trial and so for me the dog needs to know that the helper can always reinforce the command when I say the out and so what I do and how I do it again I use the PVC short little PVC pipe and so when the dog is on the sleeve and I give the dog the command I simply push the dog I don't hit because it's a PVC pipe I don't want to hit my dog or injure it uh, nothing like this but it's very unusual for the dog to feel anything in this area right and so they more likely to out plus the command is already known to the dog so that's the key the dog knows the command when we play toys he knows the command very well and he performs the command very well and that's the key if your dog doesn't out on a toy I would not progress to the higher drive exercise which is this one so for me he knows the out with the toy and then now we are reinforcing it um, with this so let me show you how I do this come on Bark. Yes. I bark. Yes. No, good boy. I yeah. Bark. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. I bark. Yes. Good boy. I bark. Yes. Good boy. So I simply push him a little bit. And that's enough for him, but at the same time I need to desensitize because you saw that I did it on a certain pattern, literally time pattern. Ah, no, I give it to me. I lots. Yeah, and so the next time he, when he was biting, he let go without me saying anything. Hey, pots, because he anticipated that I'm gonna push him with the pipe. So when this happens, I want to desensitize and I give it to the dog or I make him bark longer or hold it longer. Good boy. Let's try again. Good boy. Bark. Bark. Yes. Good. Nah, bark. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I had to give it to him because he was waiting for the pipe. I don't want this. Hey, come on. Give it to me. Hey. Uh -uh. Give it to me. I plats, plats, no plats, good plats, settle a little bit, settle, you're too hyped up, good boy, wait, bark, good boy, I, good bark, No, bark. Yes. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hey! <laughs> bark. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So always balance it because you don't want the dog. Hey! Plats. Plats. You don't want the dog on the field then kind of anticipate the the pipe or, or the out command so you always need to balance if you see your dog anticipating this like you saw him he's jumping aside and that's also because I'm holding it on the right side and so the next time I will try to hold on the left because I don't want my dog to anticipate this so always balance it if you see that he is outing prematurely then don't give the command make him bite and give him the sleeve or tug with him to make sure he's holding 
and he's not out in because he's way too strong for me. I can't tag with him like helpers do. And for that reason, we kind of have very short bites. But if you're a stronger person, you can tug with him longer before you give him the out command. But all I wanted is that for him to start understanding that the out command is part of this exercise now. Happy training.